Hello students, I would like to show you today how and what you can do with Padlet. Padlet is our platform of choice because it's easy to get into and uh, it's really fun and it has a lot of options for teachers as well as the students. So what I would like you to do is to create your own Padlet because you can keep any of your digital files images videos links anything it's like your your own free website or your own free storage and you can also share it with your friends and family and your parents can get there you can share it with your teacher so what we're going to do is we're going to go to padlet.com and here you can sign up for free hmm? and there are different kinds of padlets we are going to uh, talk about that shortly sign up for free so uh, i think all of you have your gmail account so it's the easiest if not you, you probably have apple so you can also use your own email whichever it is uh, i will use my existing google account i will have this one this is a new one okay so now here they give me already one padlet to show me that you know it's done but if i want to make my own padlet i will have different options of how my padlet is going to look now of course um you can always change that later on but for today let's select this one and then of course they ask you to modify your um, palette so of course you can set your for example i want this palette to be about my uh, final project research so everything i find all the websites all the articles um images or videos i will put them here um maybe Begin uh, for, let's say, icon. Yes, I want one icon to have um, in my Padlet. What can be my icon? Let's make it a monkey. Okay, that's good. You see, the monkey already appeared here. All right, and then I wanna just a second. Let me just take this so that you can see where I am. Ah, yes, my address. I don't want my address to be this complicated. So I want it to be maybe um, final project. And then maybe my initials, Martina, or final project, monkeys. Like this. Hmm? Okay, map style. Oh, all right. So we have a different styles of maps. And I like, because we are going to talk about monkeys, maybe this one. Maybe this one could be easy. Ah, yes. Very nice. Huh? Cool. All right. Because I chose the kind of Padlet that has the map. Hmm? All right. And then I want to choose the font maybe a little bit of fun mm -hmm. okay yes this is this is important because i want comments yes because i want my teacher to comment on whatever i have and yes why not i want to share it with my um i can i can choose the likes mm -hmm. some of you have padlets with uh, with teachers that have the grading or um, um thumbs up thumbs down require approval yes if someone wants to post on my padlet i want to first see what they are going to do filter profile okay bad words i don't want any bad words on my tablets all right okay so they tell me to click on next yes that's it start posting okay let's post how are we going to post you can see here this big ad post okay so what do i pick a location if huh. ran yes that's gonna be my location. All right. So uh, here I wanna actually copy this and link it there. Okay. Good. Ah, there you go. <laughs> All right. So that's my first post, huh? Of course. You see, I can make my map smaller or bigger. Now here, huh? I want to add maybe um, some monkeys in Shushawen. Shushawen. Yes. Okay. And here, I want maybe Ifran Shoshan. Let's see, now I want the image. Hmm? Oh, this is nice. This 
save the image in my on my desktop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I go here. And then I upload the file from my desktop. Monkey one. There you go. Of course, it's always nice to say who is who is the author of this image whose image is this visual search mode there should be oh they didn't give us the author of the image usually it says by who so if, if there is an author you should you should write the name of the person to credit it huh okay i can add um I have, okay, let's see Marrakesh. All right, here, what, what can I add? So I can add, of course, the link uh, searching Google. Snap means the I can take a photo from my uh, webcam. I can capture the video from my web, web. I can record my voice like this. I think that monkeys in Marrakesh are not treated very well. I saw a lot of them in Jamal Fna with uh, some chains around and uh, they're, they're always there in the sun and they're not in a good mood. Okay, so now I can play back and save. I can listen to it if I'm happy. Around and uh, they're, they're always there in the sun and they're not in a good mood. All right, so now I am happy with this and I can save. And in the same way, you can create a video. All right. So now I can listen to my audio recording. So I can play it. Or the teacher that comes here can play. Like this. I think that monkeys in Marrakesh. You can share your Padlet. You see, you can add the members. Maybe you work with, a, with a, another classmate of yours or a friend, and then they can contribute to your Padlet. You can copy the link and share the link uh, you can also, if you have a website or a blog, you can embed the whole Padlet there. You can email the Padlet to any of yours. If you have a Google Classroom, you can share it there. You can also save your whole Padlet as one picture. So let's see what this looks like. So you see now I have a map and this is, this is what my Padlet would look like. Hmm? And then I can, actually, uh, I can actually look at my map. Which is kind of nice, huh? Changed format, you see? And those three dots and then change format. Let's see if I choose the canvas, then I can actually move my entries wherever I want. If I, so three dots, modify, not change format, huh? If I choose a timeline, for example, it depends on what, what you are creating on your tab, on your Padlet. So you can actually change, you can, you can put these, rearrange them, right? You can also, for example, make them in a shelf, right? So that means that, name your column, this one can be, uh, okay, this one can be, All right, so here probably I will put the, the Shoshawan one here, right? And if Iran here, but with Marrakesh I will say, so you can see that here in this shelf, on this shelf I have two, and on this shelf I have only one. And of course you can add a lot of columns here. You have three free Padlets that you can create. You can join a Padlet, you can search the gallery. So there are already a lot of existing Padlets created by somebody else that you can actually uh, also duplicate and be a part of. For example, you can see here there's happy birthday Padlet. So you can create a Padlet for a friend of yours. If you don't want your Padlet to be public, you go to share and you see here privacy, it says secret. Keep the Padlet hidden. So this is by default. Whoever has your link, they can come. But if they don't have the link, they cannot see your Padlet. So you can change the privacy. You see, you can create a password for your Padlet to make sure 
that uh, whoever comes to your Padlet is the one you gave the password to. You can keep it private, you see, even if someone manages to get it, they should not be able to access it. So this is like locked for everybody. This one means that it's open only if you have the link. And the visitors here, they can only read, but you can also allow the visitors to write or edit. I will say that my visitors can write because, okay, because I changed, I, I set this in my, in my settings that I require approval. So whoever wants to write on my Padlet, they can, but I will be notified, I will receive an email, this person wants to write on your Padlet, and then I can approve or not. So I will want some people to see my Padlet, but I want to restrict it. So if you don't want your Padlet to be seen like this one, you see this uh, Reed Watkins, they actually created a public Padlet. So that everybody can find their Padlet by just searching for, you see, monkeys. I hope uh, you are going to create your own Padlet and share it with your friends. You see, you, your, your friends can share with you. You can like somebody's Padlet. So if I, if I like this Padlet here, you see, I can like it. It's a, it's a public Padlet. And then I will find it in my liked Padlets. So this is how you can get more than just three Padlets. I hope you're gonna investigate and research and explore and use Padlets as much as possible.